Guys, we are at a secret lake. We've been researching this lake actually for years, and we finally came out on it. We've uh, we've definitely done our homework. Um, first time on the water, hoping to, to get in some panfish here. We have no idea what we're doing out here other than the basics of ice fishing, but we've never fished this lake. We are gonna drill as many holes today as possible. We got three rods in the water, and the goal is to catch trophy bluegills, crappies, any type of panfish. There is a certain sense of excitement that goes with new water. You, just, you don't know what to happen. It's so true, man. Chaz Martin's Musky Mastery Outdoors is brought to you by Joe Booker Outdoors, number one in big game fish products. And by St. Croix Rods, best rods on earth. Fish more, worry less. Guys, the assault on our new lake is beginning. The snow is falling, moon underfoot in a couple hours. It's time to get real serious. Get after it today. Dude, got one. Got one, man. That's a nice fish. Not a bluegill. I don't think so, dude. This could be another one of those bass. Man. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she's pulling pretty good. Just want to be light, nice with the uh, with the lines. She doesn't bust me off. Ooh. Ooh. That's definitely not a bluegill. Okay. Oh my god! Nice. Monster largemouth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is awesome. That. that is awesome. Man. Good stuff through the Beautiful ice. Beautiful fish. Wow. Here we go. Nice, you kicked off. Strong. That is awesome. That's our first fish on our new lake. All right, guys. Little update here. Well. The goal was to catch bluegills and crappies, and we did catch one nice crappie. That was Mike Richardson. Um, big crappie Connie is still searching for a big crappie. But the interesting update here is that we're actually hammering these giant largemouth bass, which we knew this lake had them. We weren't exactly sure how active they were going to be, but turns out fishing around these schools of bluegills, which we are getting bites from, is attracting these big largemouths. There's a fish right there. All right. Feels like another good bass. Feels like another good one. Oh yeah. Just want to be real nice and easy with these fish as they come up because you don't want to, if these, you know, some of these bass here in these northern Wisconsin lakes can reach 20 inches. And you don't want them to break your line. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Oh yeah! Oh, dude, that is a nice one. Oh, <laughs> that is awesome, man! Bucket mouths in March. Oh yeah! Back in with your girl. Beautiful fish. All right. Hold her for a second, make sure she's doing okay. There she goes. Awesome. Hey, let's get another one. <sighs> All right, guys, so the hunt is still on for big bluegills. We've caught some nice largemouth bass in the process, but. It's been challenging for the last couple hours here. We're, we're putting the effort in, but the results have not shown themselves. No, we had the, we had a big bite going right at moon underfoot, about an hour within that time period. We were catching the bass, we caught some crappies, and now after that, even with the snowfall, like I said, we haven't been doing much. Not not a, not hey! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Come on, Connie! Right, just as we're saying, we don't have any action. Nice, Connie, that's oh. beautiful. Look at that thing. Does 
you know, Day was yeah. really slowing down. We're Longer thinking about changing lakes. Here we are, picking things up in the middle of the day. Big crappy Connie with a big bluegill. Blue All right, so I just want to talk to you guys a little bit about my technique here. Um, basically, what I am doing is fishing in half of the water column right now. We're in about 24 feet. I'm down 10 to 12 foot. And the idea here is to emulate some sort of either dying minnow or bug that has come up from the bottom and is slowly moving off the bottom toward the surface. All right, there is a fish. That's a good one, man. That is a good bass right there. Oh yeah. That's a nice fish, man. Mike, get in here with that camera, baby. Let's show the folks, guys. Again, we are hunting bluegills, but we keep running into these giant largemouth bass. I mean, especially in northern Wisconsin here, guys. Oh yeah. I mean, these bass, generally speaking, don't reach giant size here in northern Wisconsin, but again, some of these lakes just have the genetic strain and the forage base to produce large size. And that's what we got going on here. All right, here she comes. Here she comes. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> dude, another monster. That is awesome. Who would have thought? Who would have thought you would be catching giant largemouths in the middle of March here during a snowstorm? Let's us know she's ready to go. Oh, that is awesome! This is the hundred dollar fish. Okay, we have our cars right over there stuck in the snow. Towing truck is coming to get us out. We decided, why not fish for another 20 minutes? And put one on the board. This doesn't look like much, but this means a lot. Let's keep going, baby! We're gonna get more! Where are you? Where are you? Well, guys, it's been kind of a tough ending to our afternoon. <laughs> and we've tried just about everything. We did catch a couple of nice bluegill, crappie, and some largemouth bass. It's been a great day. The early day bite was solid. It just went pretty slow after that, and uh, we haven't been able to really make anything happen here. Not for lack of effort, but no, that's the so way it goes sometimes. What we're going to do is a little fish fry and uh, re, uh, re up for tomorrow. Yeah, yeah tomorrow. absolutely. Well, guys, hope you've enjoyed the footage here. And uh, as always, thank you for watching.